Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, no, no, I'm not it's giving a out any, it's a bad song. any good grades for the it's effort. It's a bad song. It's a horrible song. Heard it. And <laughs> moving aside from the aesthetics, which okay. you know somebody may like the sound of it, I hate it. But the, <laughs> the message is extraordinarily problematic. Okay, Brad Paisley cannot say, "Well, I'm wearing this Confederate flag shirt," but ignore the dominant meaning behind the Confederate flag, and we're talking about slavery and the Confederacy and being a separate nation, all those and white supremacy. Ignore that. I'm just talking about scared, man. No, you can't just reappropriate the symbol as you wish. If you wear that out in public, as LL says in his verse, you're going to make me uncomfortable. You have First Amendment right to wear it, but you are going to make me specifically very uncomfortable. And I'm wondering how deep does your nostalgia for this previous time go? And it'd be very easy for me to spend the rest of my time beating up on Brad Paisley's show of white guilt. But I don't want to do that, straw man. I want to talk to LL, who I am extraordinarily disappointed in. His verse is fine, he right? He will When he talks about, um, you know, that he feels that he's a new Django, dealing with invisible white hoods. That's actually a solid line, right? I feel that, like, we don't always know where the racism is coming from. But then he says, if you forgive my gold chains, I'll get the iron chain. Oh, yeah. I mean, really completely wow. false choice. Really if you right. don't judge me because I'm wearing a chain, I'll forget about slavery, which continues to have an impact on this country, the racial disparity, the income inequality, the uh, incarceration trends. I, no, I'm not going to forget. And I don't want to talk about it every day and make an excuse, because it, it's not an excuse. It's a reason why things are the way they are. But I'm not going to forget it. Like, right. What are you talking well, about? I see that LL Cool J was saying on GMA today, forget the slavery, I'm quoting, forget the slavery mentality, forget the bitterness, don't get bitter. Get that oh my God, LL Cool J took a forget the slavery mentality? Just, what are you said talking that? Yeah, about? Look, Mama I, should knock you out! I, <laughs> look, man, there are times I disagree with Torre. This is not one of those times. He's 100% correct. The thing that was most annoying about that accidental racist song, apart from the part I enjoyed was how unbelievably awkward it was. But the part that I hated the most was that Brad Paisley was painting himself to be a victim, right? Like, well, no, what? I just, I was just wearing the Confederate flag, which represents literally anti-Americanism because they wanted to secede from the Union. And it literally represents slavery because that was the big dispute between the two. We want slavery and we don't want you to have slavery, right? No, man, you can't just redefine the meaning of something X amount of years later, when it has so much history associated with it, and he's like, oh, woe is me, the guy at Starbucks was slightly uncomfortable, and I don't want him to be uncomfortable, so, okay, wear a different fucking shirt, right? And he said, oh, I want to show my support for the South, that's why I wear the shirt, and I, I'm a Leonard Skinner fan. You want to show your support for the South? Wear an American flag. You know, I don't know if you know this, but the South is part of the United States of America. Hmm. Didn't know that, did you? Interesting stuff, isn't it? So in this uh, front here, I think Torre is 100% correct. You can't compare judging somebody for wearing gold chains, which isn't just a, a black thing. I've worn gold chains before. I know a lot of white people, Asian people, uh, that have worn gold chains. It's the most normal thing in the world, right? It's a fucking chain. It's like a shirt. It's just, Common accessory. You're comparing that to wearing a Confederate flag? No, look, my last uh, comparison on this, I used it yesterday, but I'm going to say it again real fast. That's like somebody flying a North Korean flag. And then when you say to them, oh, why would you support Kim Jong-un, this like genocidal dictator that seems uh, like a bad idea, right? They go, oh, is that what it means? Oh, I thought it meant something else. I want it to, re to be redefined as I like the Koreas together and then the North is uh, the part that's more suppressed and I'm doing it for solidarity with the people in the country and no, 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 motherfucker. It means what it means and we all know it.